Chapter 5 has an issue that's slowly been attacking its well-being, as well as the way it operates. Kind of like having Crohn's. No, it's not bullet drop. No, it's not graphics. No, it's not the attachments. These are issues within Chapter 5, but not the one I want to talk about today. Movement items or mobility items haven't been up to Los Pollos standards. You are done. I believe what makes a good movement item, in my opinion, is the ability to leave it on the floor and use things like crash pad juniors or shockwaves over it and not be at a disadvantage. Season 1's grapple blade is a great example of this because you didn't need it during combat. Sure, it'd be nice to have one, but it's not going to help you win fights because the attack component of this was this Indiana Jones, watch me whip, watch me nay nay, wee wee dance bullshit. Oh, let me see. I'm gonna spank her. Move out of the way, move out of the way, she's mine. She's mine. No, 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 come here, come here, come here. <gasps> I can go on and on about the grapple blade, and I know I said in my season 1 review that it was kind of broken, but I'm taking back my word. This was balanced in its true form compared to nowadays. Like, sure, you can use the argument of, well, the grapple blade had infinite uses with recharges, so why shouldn't you use the grapple blade? And while yes, that's very true, I'm not at a disadvantage if I don't have one, and my opponent does, vice versa. Like, I can even say the same thing about season 2's wings. Despite the fact that I used shockwaves over these, my chances in combat were the same chances as someone who had the wings. Well, what about the argument of the wings being a huge advantage since you had really good mobility with it. The problem with that argument is that you couldn't shoot while flying in the air, which isn't the case with this season. You were exposed in the air and you could be severely punished if you weren't careful since the hitboxes were huge and you were locked into a falling animation. So trade-offs essentially. The so-called attack component of this was the crashing feature which did a decent amount of damage if you aimed correctly. Now mind you this was tweaked over time but the point still stands of this being a nice touch on the season and at the end of the day it's whatever tickles your fancy. If you want to use this great. If you don't great. I think these two movement items fit in their respective seasons perfectly and I think that they were executed well for chapter 5. I've already stated my opinion on the Nitro Fists but TLDR for the sake of the video, they were terrible. Insane hitboxes basically being a soft aim, no cooldown on the punching cycle, you literally need this against people who do have it, but even with these changes, point still stands of needing to carry it in combat. No! Working! War Machine's hover jets are a little interesting since they don't necessarily do any damage to players, but grants better positioning and combat mobility to players. With this in mind, Fortnite was like, yeah, so the Marvel Mythics in the Marvel season. Let's lower the spawn rate. I think if they're going to make it so that you should definitely use this 24-7, it should be everywhere on the map. I think making them less common is a stupid change. This item is better than the Nitro since you don't spam click with it for an insta win. However, these hover jets act as an anomaly because it kind of does take skill to use effectively since you're exposed in the air, but you are at a huge disadvantage if you don't have one yourself and your opponent does. It's a bad situation where your opponent is fluttering around you like a hummingbird tinkerbell fairy and you can't really do anything about it. Don't get me wrong, it's 100% a step up from the Nitro Fist. The issue mostly arises in zero build since you end up shooting someone while they're flying. The dipshit will most likely have the auto turret shooting you while holding the Captain America's shield for dear life. Call me boring if you want, but the traditional mobility item with four charges is a much better model for movement items. I mean, I like using this shit. I feel like I'm in that one scene of Book of Boba Fett. Future mobility items should continue the theme of providing utility without making players too difficult to attack or escape from. You gotta please the casuals with the flashy shit I know, yet at the same time you have to make a respectable item for the competitive players. I definitely don't think it's that hard, I mean shit, they've f***ing done it before. Is he listening to us? I can't he, tell- He's listening, he's not understanding. Yeah, he doesn't even like get us, man, it's- We're talking about you! Ah. Epic Games, you're a smart company, but sometimes it can be kind of f***ing dumb. Don't be dumb, you're not actually dumb. I'm not saying you have to bring back old items, that's cringe. Just take notes. Take what made old movement items good and expand on them. Make quality items like this, this, and this. But most of all, Epic, put me on your payroll, please.